giving away your money. How does it make you feel when I say those words? Now, if you're brand new to my channel, you might not have followed before that actually we commit to giving a portion of our personal money and our business every single month. It's one habit, just the same as saving and investing and working towards those habits for our long-term wealth. It's one habit that we refuse to drop out of our budget. You might have caught a video a couple of weeks ago when I actually show you our household budget as we're self-employed now, and I talk you through why it's one of the first things we do every single month. In this video, I'm gonna answer a lot of your questions about giving that were from that video, but also I want to talk to you about why I started to give, why our family embraced this principle as one that changed our hearts and our minds with our money. Now I can say without doubt this it made us time and financially wealthy. Now, if you don't believe me you're going to hear my story as I touch upon why giving is really the habit that changes everything. So let's call out some basics about my journey before we get started on this. Well, 2013, we had just had our first child, our oldest, Nathan, and with that maternity leave, I really sensed that it was time to change some habits. We actually had £24,000 worth of consumer debt. Now, to a lot of people, that is a huge amount, and it still is, but for us, it was simply a goal that we had to get out of it as quickly as possible. And that really led me into a journey of understanding more about money, understanding habits that had led to that debt, and also how we could pay it off as quickly as possible. Now, both of us were working full time and it was at that moment I decided there must be another way to do things. It can't simply be that two people have to work full time to pay off debt, to make an income and also to enjoy life. And so that moment, I decided that was not going to be my history. Now that led to a spiral of watching YouTube videos and blogs and seeing Instagram people just generally talking about how to pay off debt, but also how to invest. Now this was something I touched upon and I just started a personal development journey, reading as many books as I could, such as For Our Work Week by Tim Ferriss and other such great ones as Tony Robbins' Money Master the Game. And they talked about this concept of investing, putting your money in the stock market, but so that you could have passive income. I'd never heard of this word before and this meant that I could make money while I was sleeping. Literally, money would be generated from my money in the background. So then that led me to a big spiral of actually making that happen in our life. I started a couple of businesses, I then started this channel and actually sharing that knowledge, getting out of debt, learning about investing, but also learning about money differently. And so we devised a plan that actually we would be debt free from having that £24,000 worth of consumer debt on credit cards and loans. We would be debt free within five years. So it took us up to 2018. Now, when we actually started the journey, here's what always happens. When you have a goal, a vision in mind, it's a purpose that you know will better your world. World, guess what? The world always gives you more opportunities, I believe, to make it happen quicker. And that's what happened to us. Within three and a half years, that debt was completely gone. There was bonuses from work that appeared. There was little bits of side hustle money that started to appear. There was always ways we were looking to streamline our money and throw it at the debt. And then we were debt free completely. Now, come March 2018, I've been creating YouTube videos for a couple of months now, all about motherhood and general life. And I really got a strong sense it was time to talk about money full time on this channel. So every single video from that point, I was putting out one video a week, was talking about money. And very quickly, I saw that it was really starting a lot of great conversations with people. It was also introducing me to a lot of new things that I wasn't even aware of, such as developing a business. And so when that happened, I decided in September of that year to actually start making my own passive income products. So our spreadsheet was created. This tool that we'd actually used in the background to pay off debt, we decided to make it a product product to actually help other people. And that then led to lots of other products and courses and services and the business just kept growing. Now in 2019 in February, I actually had a mental breakdown. I've shared that on this channel just even a couple of weeks ago, talking you through what happened with me in that case. But at that point in time, you know what it's like. The world is flipped upside down when anything like that happens to do with your health or your mental health. And it was that moment coming out of that after a couple of weeks in hospital, we decided as a family where we're going to do things yet again differently where we're going to make and design life exactly how we want it and for the past couple of months before that even maybe six months the books that I was picking up the things that I was seeing even podcasts were all talking about money but also this aspect of giving 
And I started to look for really the characteristics of people that I wanted to be like or similar to, that they seemed to have a really good philosophy about money overall. They were building real wealth, but they also seemed to have this peace and joy, knowing they were working on their business and doing great things with it. And the missing piece that I hadn't learned before that time was the aspect of giving giving consistently, not the habit purely to be seen to give, but actually to change our mindset with money, knowing and seeing physically that we have enough, we have more than enough even for what we need, that we can even give some away and allow that to ripple further. Now, before we go any further, I know a lot of you will say, well, if I'm giving up my time for things I support, what about my money? I get that. I know that's a very common mindset, but I'm telling you, when you start to open up all your resources to being able to help others and see a ripple effect, not just your time and your energy, that's when your heart and your mindset changes around money. So when I found this principle and I saw this link between people who actually had the habit of giving and their attitudes and what they were doing in the world with their businesses, but also with the things they were supporting, I said to Matt one night, I said, look, I really feel drawn to trying out this habit. Can we try it for six months? And if nothing happens, we don't change, we don't feel any different, we'll stop. And so that night I went out and got a little notebook just like this and decided for every amount of money that was coming towards us. That would be our wages. It would even be extra money that might randomly appear, such as finding money on the street or someone gives a gift or something like that. I would write it down and I would write down 10% to then give away when we felt it was right. So the maths was simple. Every time there was like £10, let's say, 10%, so one pound would go somewhere that we wanted to give to. Now, if you are a traditional money mindset follower, perhaps you say, well, you know, Dave Ramsey doesn't preach like that. He doesn't tell us to give. Actually, if you look at his stuff he does he actually encourages because of his particular faith and background he encourages still honoring tithe and offerings as you feel led but the whole point of the baby steps being once you've completed and been debt free even though he's very strongly opinionated on the order he wants it to be so that you give even more than what you think you should so not just 10 percent by their faith standards but even more when you get to the latter stages so what did i do then so every single time money appeared in some form 10 percent it was moved to our giving bank account. Now then we used to ask ourselves this question, where is this money best served? Where is it meant to go? And I was totally open to inspiration. That was something that really had to be key. We had to make it feel like we were getting inspired action for where it would be best served. So for example, some months it went to a church group or community group, we gave to charities. We even gave extra tips at the restaurants we were going to if we really felt that that was for that person's serving us. And so for those six months back in 2019, we committed that any amount of money that came to our business as well, we would do the same thing. Now the side hustle at that time, Mama Furfur, was very small. We were making a little bit of money, but certainly not a huge amount of money that the shifting of giving would be a large amount. It'd be very similar to our wages or something less. But I simply saw, well, if my personal money, I want it to make a difference and change my heart and my mindset with, I equally, I want my business to do good in the world. I want my business, the heart the soul of it to therefore have that spirit of giving as well because if I'm creating things and hopefully helping people with my time and my energy it makes sense that the money that we create from it can also then help other things as well. Now a number of you have left a lot of comments on a recent video that I put out where I mentioned this concept of giving. So in my budget video that I released a couple of weeks ago a lot of people said this was really refreshing to see someone talk about giving and if you've been around on this channel for a long time you know this is something that I absolutely have a testimony of. Now, not only did our personal money grow, but our business grew month in, month out, and lots of different ways now that money was coming to us. There was new sources of income as well that seemed to appear, new ways that money could come to us in multiple ways. Now, this principle of giving is nothing new. If you're someone of faith who's watching this video, you'll know it might even be part of something that you believe from that standpoint. It could be part of the community that you're from as well, that you have this pride and also giving consistently every time you receive an income. But for me, as someone who'd never really experienced this, I'd tried it a couple of times in the past through being part of different churches, but never really understood why it was a game changer or the heart of why giving felt so important to some people. I had to really test it and see the proof for myself. So that six month trial to prove if the theory actually worked or not ended up being now a lifelong habit. I have no hesitation. We will always keep up, not only in our personal life, but our business life as well. And we're now
now seeing as our business has really grown exponentially. You know, we started in 2018 with minimum amounts coming through, the joy of even one sale a month, to then see it grow a little bit, to then even see in 2019 it be that my husband could retire. We would allow ourselves to actually have one income only, my nine to five job, when I came out of hospital. Then even more so, in just in January, I was able to leave my full-time job because our actual business was making multiples of my day job. Now in this past year, when we look at 2020 to 2021, our business looks like it's going to cross a really fantastic milestone, all while consistently honouring that giving principle and also seeing that our donations, when we do feel where they should go, we're seeing that then other people are able to do far greater things than we could have given our time for. So that being said, maybe you've watched this and you said, okay, I want to do just like you did. I want to actually try this habit to see if it can change my life in any way. Well, I would say just that, get a notepad, get a pen, keep a journal of every time money comes towards you. Perhaps even you just start with not your income right now, the predictable money, but any extra money that comes your way. Perhaps you find money on the street, perhaps there's a bonus from work, perhaps there's a tax rebate or a gift why not make a commitment to say, I'm going to put aside then 5% or 1% or 10% of whatever extra money that I haven't predicted comes my way. I'm gonna put it aside and then I'm gonna ask myself this question. Where is this gift of giving meant to go? Now, it could be that you're inspired to give it to someone that's a friend, completely condition-free that they can do whatever they like with. Perhaps it's giving it to someone on the street that you feel inspired or it's perhaps something faith-based, a community group or a charity or the church that you go to. Whatever it is, ask yourself that question because I stand by that you will get inspiration of where it's meant to then go and multiply. And as much as we like to see what happens to that money, if you do it with the intention that you're not expecting anything back, that's when the magic happens. Now, if at the end of, let's say, three months or six months of trying this principle out, if you feel that your heart and your mind have not changed, well, you just go back to what you were doing. But for us, since 2019, starting that habit, every single month without fail, the giving money that was sent out the door returned back to us in ways that we couldn't describe and also we grew every single income source that we have. Money kept coming to us and it's not the reason we do it but it just goes to show you when whatever you do with the right intentions or however you send things out, whether it be content that you're making, your money, your time, it then returns to you usually multiplied with that same intention back. So I've got a challenge for you. Why don't you give yourself the giving challenge for the next month ahead. Make that commitment. See if it'll change your life, just as it changed ours as well. We got back our time freedom through putting this practice of giving into our budget. We also invested, we also saved, but we didn't have that missing link, I see. Then that moment that we did start to give, it changed everything. It allowed us then to see money for what it truly is, as just a resource to send into the world, to use for our own world to have stability, but then know that we really do actually have overflow. We've got more than enough for our needs and therefore we can allow somebody else to do good with it as well. So I hope you really have enjoyed today's video. As I say, it's a topic that whenever I cover it on a video, lots of questions and I really hope this breaks down why we started to give and why we're so true to this one habit always being part of our budget. Just in the same ways we like to invest and save, it's really critical now that we keep it up. And hopefully you might find it a little bit of encouragement to you if you've thought about trying this habit before, really find out the reason why you want to start it. Perhaps look to other people that you admire and see what they do with their money as well. And if they give, then find out what they give to, how they give, and the kind of spirit of why they give as well. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Why not check out this one right here? It's gonna be on a similar topic for you. And also you can hit subscribe and join my channel where you can see all my videos that are uploaded. And if you do fancy sticking around, why not check out all my other videos as well? Something's bound to draw your attention that I think you'll enjoy. So thank you so much for watching today. I'll speak to you very soon.